Hello everyone, welcome to Unify Study. In last video, we have discussed the concept of data warehouse and data mining with question. Now it is the part 2 for this data warehouse and data mining where you are going to learn the concept with question. First I will ask you question, after that I will clear your concept so that you can confirm your marks in exam hall because this is always the effective study. When you are checking the question, after that you are doing the concept then definitely you will be able to remember for a long time and these questions are most repeated question from different exam i have collected from different different state paper recently whatever conducted by different different state so please watch the video till the end and if you are new to this channel then definitely subscribe to the channel click the bell icon to get all latest update notification and to stay tuned with unify study to learn in detail with concept question and to confirm your marks so let's start first check the question think it what can be the answer data warehouse designed with support high level query access based upon which concept yes it is dimensional modeling very important concept dimensional modeling Dimensional modeling specially used for data warehouse only. Entity relationship is not because entity relationship is the operational where normal data house OLTP means normally transactional process is going on at that time. We are using it. It is not for analytical purpose. OLAP is the process. We will do in the next video OLTP and OLAP question and concept. OLAP is analytical process. It is not for data warehouse purpose. On the top of data warehouse, you are using OLAP for doing the analysis. So, it is not the concept of data warehouse. Object oriented data model is not suitable for data warehouse at all. Now, come to the point of the dimensional modeling. What is dimensional modeling? Dimensional modeling technique is primarily data warehoused and here it is divided into two main part. One is two tables are here. This is very important. One is called fact table. Another is dimension table. Fact table, what is the purpose? It is actually the central table where you are storing measurable or qualitative data like sales amount, quantity sold like that. Here you can see the table like date key, product key, store key, sales amount that is you are going to store numeric value means these are fact these are the qualitative measure. Now descriptive dimension is always storing the describe who, what, where, when this type of question whenever you are doing you are getting this answer from the dimension table means dimension table is storing the description provide the descriptive attribute to filter group of label like date customer product region here like product key this one product name this one category this one brand this one this is actually textual or categorical data remember that this is normally numeric data and qualitative data quantitative data and this is descriptive data, textual or categorical data. Now you can see normally dimensional modeling schema are star schema and snowflake schema. In the star schema, you can see fact table in the center and dimensional table surround the star. That's why it is called star. Snowflake main concept is more normalized version of star schema. It is little bit updated one. Dimension table are split into sub dimension. Is this dimension again sub dimension it is divided and reduce the redundancy but can slow performance. This is the main concept of snowflakes. Now advantages. What are the advantages here? It is simplicity because easy to understand the query. Performance good because optimized and fast. And add new dimension also it's possible. It is flexible. You can add new dimension. And business friendly also. Here uh, mainly use cases where you are using for dashboard, data warehouse, ad hoc query and reporting system. ETL is the very important concept. ETL and dimensional modeling. 
DTL means extract, transform and transform and load. Pipeline data in fact of dimension table. Here you are using this. This is actually dimension table is helping for ETL. These are the example like you can see a little cell where fact table is sales fact like measurable total sale unit sold. Dimension product dimension product name brand category store dimension store name location time dimension date week these are all about dimension and factable and multi dimension modeling i hope it is clear for you so here you can see dimension modeling it is the combination of fact and dimension best use for analysis reporting and high volume query schema type star and snowflake data granularity you are using lowest possible level that's why it is used for transaction and high value due due to the simplicity and demoralized demor, uh, de normalized normal rdbm is we are using normalization more but here it is flat here that much normalization is not required that's why it is giving you more flexibility got it now tell me the answer for this one i hope it is very clear for fact table and dimension table now you can do the answer very easily very quickly tell me the answer yes very good both are the correct answer fact table for data warehouse contain the transactional data and it is containing the descriptive good now tell me yes super definitely answer is multi dimensional model now identify the option for data warehouse can include what type of table database table online data flat data what yes here it is all of the above here i am showing you what are the types of data maybe it is hiding behind me just go through it quickly you will get the pdf don't worry after the video i will show you from where you can get the pdf here relational database file flat file cloud storage enterprise application legacy system online or real time data streaming data logs or machine data social media api or web service big data system document repositories external data and file transfer transfer protocol also these all types of data you can store in a data warehouse very very important remember this so that's why your last question answer was all of the above all types of data you are storing you can get question from here also even also these examples are also important what are the relational database what are the flat file question came from here also cloud storage these all things you need to remember examples they are asking now tell me what is etl process just now i told you just now i told you yes this is extract transform and load yes here you can see extract extract means collecting data from the various sources source include like database oracle sql flat file is csv api cloud cloud platform anywhere you can extract the data like pool customer record from the sales force and the sales transaction from the sql database transform what is transform transform means clean standardized and the format the data it is common transformation like data cleaning and data type conversion like aggregation total sales per day calculation like profit revenue minus cost here margin like uh, you are joining the data set this is also the task of transformation like convert all the date format in yymmdd and calculate the customer lifetime value next one is load load means move the transform data into target system that is data warehouse either in snowflake snowflake or redshift data lake reporting database these are the modes like batch load incremental load or real time streaming any way you can load the data so you can see ultimate extract means pull the raw data from the source system 
transform means clean and reformat the data load means store in the data warehouse or data lake here you can see some common etl tools these are the common etl tools go through it it will be helpful for any questions always one question but related all concept whenever you are learning then you can solve so many question in exam hall yes now tell me identify the correct option for defining data mart data mart what is data mart yes data mart is the sub group of data warehouse now let's learn little bit detail on data mart it is means it is so many times they ask question from here data mart as i as you said that yes it is the sub subset like uh, you have a business line or department or team such as sales marketing finance means you are dividing your team into small small subset this is just like that so here normally scope is narrow because big database if you are storing you have to face the data from detail so many datas are there but if you are categorizing it and if you are making subset then wherever what type of data required you can fetch it from there that's why smaller than the normal data warehouse and definitely load will be less that's why performance will be good we are load from the central data warehouse and directly from the operational system target groups are like sales team marketing team and it will be definitely speed will be faster because reduce the data volume and can be dependent independent and hybrid three types of data mart is there one is dependent another is independent another is hybrid dependent means get data from the central data warehouse independent means created directly from the operational system no central data warehouse is there hybrid means combine of both dependent and independent both here are some example you can see one data where data mart from one data warehouse you are making sales data mart finance data mart or and hr data mart what are the benefit quicker access definitely and easier to manage improve query performance and reduce the data complexity also now tell me what is data scrubbing what is data scrubbing when you are doing scrubbing before going to any party we are doing scrubbing and what is scrubbing increasing the quality of the skin yes that's why the process upgrade the quality of data before it's move to the data warehouse not after before going to party you will do right so that's why before sending to data mart the data cleaning is required data warehouse data scrubbing also known as data cleaning data scrubbing is the process of detecting and correcting or removing inaccurate incomplete duplicate or inconsistent data from the data set typically before it's loaded to the data warehouse here it's ensured the data accuracy data quality maintain consistency remove error or duplicate and fill the missing values also here you can see removing duplicates like eliminate repeated data correction standardized format like example i am showing you and here you can see some important why why we are using it here is one example like j h n smith means it is a incorrect data you, it will be changed to john smith here this is slash it will understand no this is a phone number so it will correct the format as per phone number null salary here something not done properly that's why it will replace with average here usa or u dot sa it will standardize to usa so different different way of data input is there some wrong format is there some missing data is there everything every correction cleaning will be done through this data scrubbing method i hope it's very clear so today's video you learned this concept all this concept i hope it's very much helpful to you stay tuned and you will get the pdf from unify study unify study where unify study app 
I am giving you Unify Study app link. Install Unify Study and you will get a free course. Under the free course, there is a folder free PDF. From there, you can download this PDF. And if you are interested to join the paid course, definitely you can check the paid course. There is only one paid course going on. I am not running so many paid course. Only one course for mastering computer science, whatever exam you are preparing. Especially UGC net if you are preparing, then definitely it will be helpful. You can apply super 20 to get 20% discount there if you are interested for paid course. Take it now so that you can attain my all classes. Every day, Monday to Friday, 5 a.m., 5 p.m., regularly classes going on. So, per day, near about 3 hours, more than 3 hours, you can access my classes, live classes, recording, test series, PDF, PYQS, everything is there. So, install now Unify Study app to download this free PDF. And after that, if you are interested, then definitely go for the paid course. Thank you. Bye. See you in my next video.